Okay, so day nine, we're going to be staying over here in Shrouded Glade because where we're going today is Sunstone Valley. Finally, my favorite area in the entire game. And that's literally just around the back of Shrouded Glade. So let's see, the events for day nine are as such. You pick up the coffee cup and a strange smell hits your nose. Oh, that is rancid. This is supposed to cure the hummingbirds? I can't understand why hummingbirds would want to even touch this stuff. Anyways, I'll bring it back to the farm as fast as I can. As you turn around to walk back towards the farm, a rumbling in the distance begins to grow louder. A group of bikers from the Skulls gang zooms past you. Their leader, Buddy, has a whole case of sarsaparilla on the back of their bike. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. You call out to the bikers, but they can't hear you over the sound of the choppers, and they ride towards Sunstone. I need that sarsaparilla back. Scroll down. You chase after the biker gang and find their stash at a roadhouse. So we're getting a little bit of a distraction from our main mission of curing these hummingbirds. Hopefully Gloam is not a terminal disease thing. Um, I'm sure they'll be fine. Anyways, we're going to take a little bit of a detour to find these bikers who apparently stole a case of sarsaparilla, which if I remember correctly is just like root beer basically. And the picture we have here shows a case of sarsaparilla with the Wugga Chug logo on it, since that's where it's from. Some boxes of pizza on a building, and there's a barrel with some, like a barrel fire, dumpster fire kind of thing out in front of it. Wow, look at that color palette. It's been a, such a long time. This is definitely my favorite area because I remember when it came out when I was like nine or 10. And so it was like, I spent the majority of my time here. And this is where they introduced open world combat, which they should have kept in Sunstone because it didn't work out very well in any of the other areas besides Sunstone. There's a roadhouse. Um, it might be this one, right at the entrance of Sunstone. Hopefully it's not, honestly, so we can walk a little bit further in, but it might, it might be. No? Okay, good. So we can actually probably go to the valley edge. I'm not sure. Oh, there's another house up there. North a bit more. Rumble Dome to the right. So it's probably going to be either that one or there might be one more over to the left a little bit further. So we can check that one out afterwards. And if I remember correctly, there was also an exploration coin on top of one of these buildings. Or maybe it was back a bit. I can't remember. I just remember being traumatized by it because I couldn't find it. And I had to like ask an adult to help me. I'm pretty sure it was this building here. Let's see, nothing on that side. Nothing on that side either, okay. So we're gonna go a little bit further in. Oh wait a second, no, it's right here. <laughs> okay, it was just the back of the building. Let's go over here though, cause we can get a, a vista of the valley from here too. This will be all the rest of Sunstone. That's awesome, look at that. Oh, I remember that little camp down there. And this is where all the, the lizards were and Peace Guana Joe was down here and there was something on that island. That's awesome. All right, well, I'll go back here and take a screenshot of that and that'll be it for today. That's a pretty short one, but it's nice to kind of go in Sunstone Valley a little bit and just, it's so empty. It's hard to see it when it's all empty like this, but there it is. That's the sarsaparilla and the pizza that we're looking for. Take a screenshot of that and I'll see you tomorrow.